simulate things that no one has ever done before. Like dropping millions of tons of trash into a volcano, dropping phone cases down into the Mariana Trench, shooting all the world's plastic out into space, and more. Where are we getting these crazy ideas? Well, a couple of weeks ago, we asked you, the What If community, where you wanted us to dispose of the world's trash, and you guys delivered some wild ideas. Now, we're going to show them to you like never before. But before we get to that, we're gonna drop this into melted glass at over 1,000 degrees Celsius. This is about as hot as lava, which should give us a pretty good idea of what might happen if we were to throw our garbage into a volcano. So this is copper, but if I actually threw my garbage in here or my phone case, which is made of plastic, it would just fill the room with all the fumes from the chemicals that make it, and we would probably die. Okay, that was pretty cool, but what if we were to do this in an actual volcano with way more trash using our super cool video effects team? Let's find out. This is you, your trash. Not you are trash, your trash. The amount of trash you create in one year. And we're about to throw it into a volcano. But wait, I don't see a volcano. VFX team, that's better. The lava inside this volcano is over 1,200 degrees Celsius, and this is 680 kilograms of trash. Now, if you don't know how big that is, well, picture a polar bear, but made of trash. <laughs> Thanks, VFX team. If you were to drop this much waste into a volcano, well, you'd be looking at a big explosion. You see, since the lava inside the volcano is so hot and our trash is relatively cool, well, that equals boom. The trash would hit the lava and trigger a reaction of pressurized and acidic steam. <laughs> that was pretty intense, but we're not going to stop there. We've got a whole lot more trash to get rid of. Let me talk to Marina about this. The animation you made of one person's trash, really good, but I'm thinking awesome. we up it quite a bit more than one person. Okay, what do you have in mind? Like 20, 20 million people. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, okay, um, okay. New York City's trash for a year. Mm -hmm. We roll it all up into a ball and throw that into a volcano. Okay, how much trash is that? 14 million tons. I'll need some time to figure it out. Can you give me some time and I'll get back to you? I can give you a couple more minutes because there's only a few minutes left in the video. Yeah, go ahead, thanks. Okay, perfect. While we wait for that, let's jump over to the other side of the world. But first, why are we doing this? Well, the world's got a bit of a trash problem. Plastic in the ocean. Food waste, hundreds of tons of it. The garbage reality is bigger than you might realize. And our friends at Casetify have been working hard to solve it. More on that later. But for now, we're gonna take a crack at it. That's why we challenged you to help us figure out the best way to get rid of garbage. From food waste, to plastic packaging, to phone cases. This one says, hey Peter, the trash in our ocean, how do we get rid of it? Maybe dump it into the Mariana Trench. <laughs> I like your thinking. Over 14 million tons of trash end up in the ocean every year. That's over 8 trillion pieces of plastic. And a big part of this trash problem is old phone cases. Over one and a half billion of them are thrown away every year. So we're gonna have to find a way to get rid of all those old phone cases. What if we dump them down into the deepest part of the ocean? Marina, do your thing. We're bringing you down 11,000 meters to the bottom of the Mariana Trench. Since the Mariana Trench is the deepest point on Earth, dumping one and a half billion phone cases should be nothing for this ocean cavern. In theory, the Mariana Trench could hold over one trillion phone cases in it. It's forcing our phone cases to be compressed, smaller and smaller. The pressure of the Mariana Trench is comparable to a tower of 2,000 elephants stacked up on top of each other and sitting on your head. And as hundreds of millions of phone cases pile up, we'd be shocked at how horrible it is for the ocean. Materials leak out into the sea, killing ocean wildlife and destroying coral reefs, not to mention leaking more and more microplastics into the water. I wonder what would happen if we sent it up into space instead. Well, more on that soon. Anyway, 
that was a bad idea. I think I've found a better way to get rid of our old phone cases. But first, let's check in with our giant ball of trash going into the volcano. Looks like they're still working on it. Okay, well, while it's being assembled, let me take a minute to tell you what we're gonna do to fix our phone case waste problem. If I ever have to throw out a phone case, I'm giving mine to Casetify. They've got the world's largest phone case recycling program. All you do is send them your old phone case and they'll upcycle it for you, producing a completely new one. Not only does this create a new case, but it also prevents a case from joining the landfill. This video wouldn't be possible without Casetify, so to thank them and to help out this channel so that we can do more videos like this, check out Casetify's website so you can learn more about how to upcycle your old phone case. You can get a new, cooler case like this. Yeah, I'm never throwing this out. Oh sweet, looks like our massive pile of trash is ready to be thrown into the volcano. Now, let's drop it in. This time, instead of creating a massive explosion inside the volcano, this trash ball is going to create an explosion that goes hundreds of meters up in the air. Lava would spread to every nearby town. And the pollution, oh, the pollution. Without a filter, dropping this much trash into a hot lava lake would spread poisonous fumes for hundreds of meters. This doesn't look good. Okay, that was a really bad idea. But I'm gonna give you guys another, another chance. <coughs> oh, that's an idea that's out of this world. Literally. <coughs> We're going to see what would happen if we bring our garbage up into space and launch it into the sun. But instead of our garbage, how about we switch it up a bit? Let's just move our plastic waste. We've got a ton of that, or should I say tons? About 40 million tons of plastic is thrown out every year, and that's just in the United States. Maybe we should strap it all to a rocket and send it into the sun. That's probably the best way to get rid of it. What do you think, you can simulate this for us? Yeah, I think we can, but I'm gonna need some help. Can you go collect a bag of plastic garbage and see how much that would weigh? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah, I think I can figure that out. I'll be right back. Okay. Finally. Let's do this. While I'm out here picking up trash, let's see what other ideas you guys have come up with. Stomach acid. Uh, no. As strong as stomach acid is, it wouldn't be able to dissolve all our trash. And how would you even get that much stomach acid for it to do anything? What about a black hole? Yeah, but it's theoretically impossible and it would kill everyone involved. So, next. Could we send it back in time? And that would just mess up the world even more today. Okay, Marina, I think uh, I think I got enough. Okay, how much is it? Well, it's pretty heavy. Well, I need an accurate measurement. Oh, right, of course. I'll send you the details on how much it weighs. Okay, so how do we do? Let's see. Sending our plastic into space would require one million bags full of any plastic trash. And to get that up into the sky would require 640,000 rockets. And blowing up a rocket in the sun isn't as easy as it sounds. The only way we'd be able to get our rockets into the sun would be if we slowed the rockets down by 30 kilometers per second, which is extremely hard to do. That's because Earth moves around the sun at 30 kilometers per second. So in order to line up the rocket with our sun, it would need to stop all its sideways momentum. And that would be almost impossible to properly time and line up. Hmm, so it doesn't look that great, huh? Well, no, it will look more like this. Not a great idea. Um, looks like these crazy ideas aren't gonna work. Maybe the best thing we could do is just recycle. I mean, it sounds too good to be true, but recycling really does work. If we all did it, we'd notice reduced pollution and more vibrant natural resources. It can also create some pretty awesome phone cases. Shout out again to Casetify. 
So instead of wasting a bunch of money or risking our lives with these crazy ideas, all you have to do is this. So hopefully we can all play a small role in fixing the world's trash problem. But what should we tackle next? Well, that's a story for another What If.